Hello and welcome to the video that will show you how to register for classes online. Simply navigate to the Wallace website, wallace.edu, and click at the top My WCC. From here you will log in. Your user ID is your student number, and your PIN is whatever you changed it to unless it is still remains the default, which will be your six-digit date of birth. You can recover either your ID or PIN by simply clicking Forgot User ID slash PIN. If you still have problems, contact the admissions office. You can email them at admissions at wallace.edu or you can call them at 556-2468. Click Login, then click Scheduling and Registration. Review your personal information on this screen and make any changes necessary, then click Continue to Register. Select Summer 2020, and then select Course. For this particular video, we're going to look at registering for an online computer course, CIS 146. Prior to this semester, before taking online classes, you must complete the e-learning training. However, that prerequisite has been lifted at this time. Also, you would have had to met with an advisor to be web authorized. That too has been lifted at this time, so you are able to register for online classes. So to register for the CIS 146 class, simply click All Departments and look for CIS, Computer and Information Science, and then all courses and I'm looking for 146 and select that. Then I'm going to click go. This pulls up all the computer classes CIS 146 that are offered this semester for both the Eufaula campus and the Wallace campus. You can see all the courses that are offered for this particular subject matter are internet courses. If it is a mini term, it will indicate it by saying mini term. And it'll give you the date that it begins and ends. So this first course is a first mini term and it starts 526 and ends 629. So on and so forth. The status of this course shows that it's open because the class is still open and is not full yet. If the class was full, it would say closed. Here's the list of each instructor for the course, the date it begins, and the date that it ends. Here are the days of the week and the times that the class is offered. For internet courses, that will be TBA, to be announced, meaning there's no certain day or time you must log in to complete your coursework. When you find the class that you would like to register for, simply click Add, and then Continue, and that course is added to your schedule. To remove a course, simply click Drop Course. And it'll ask you if you're sure you want to drop it. And then click OK. And you can see that course is removed. Let's try that one more time. Select Course. You can actually narrow it down to if you're on the Eufaula campus, you would click Sparks campus. If you're on the Dothan campus, Wallace campus. And let's look at an art class, Art 100, which is Art Appreciation and then click 100 and then go. These classes are all offered as online options. Instructors, dates and times. Simply click the one you want, add. It's an internet class course and then click continue and that course is added. Now once you get the schedule that you want, simply click I'm done adding courses. From here it'll tell you how much money you owe and if you have any financial aid, your financial aid will show on this line here. For this particular student, they do not have financial aid, and it shows the cost of this semester will be $474. At this point, if you do have financial aid, you can click I'm finished. But for the sake of this student, the student is ready to pay, so click pay for registration and pay with a card. Enter your card information here and click pay now. If you're on financial aid, go ahead and click I'm finished and complete your registration. Make sure to cash out at this time so that it makes purchasing books a seamless process. 
Please note that you must cash out before being able to purchase your books using financial aid. I do hope this video has been helpful. If you have any further questions, be sure to contact the college. Thanks. Have a good day.